name is Brandon. I'm here at Life Going Canyon Park in Porter Ranch, California. And I'm going to be walking along the creek bed here, looking for California newts and two striped garter snakes, along with any other wildlife I can find. So as soon as I find something interesting, I'll let you guys know. Well, I stopped by this little water hole where I've actually have found two garters, two striped garter snakes here once before. And though I don't see any two striped garter snakes here, I did find this, which looks like the exoskeleton of a rich swamp crayfish. I've seen these guys around here plenty of times, but I've never seen them this far south of the creek. They're usually much, much further north. So this is um, a bit interesting to see. You can see how big the claws are fairly big. If it were alive, he obviously would have taken off. They usually swim backwards really fast like this towards the nearest crack or crevice or hiding place they can find. And if they're captured, they'll try and pinch you with these things. They don't bite, but they'll pinch really hard. And um, I've never been pinched by them, but I've been pinched by crabs. So um, I can tell you it's really painful. It hurts, but it won't kill you. So I'm just going to put this thing back in the water and uh, keep moving on. I can already see two California newts right now. Right above, right below me. Got to be really careful. I don't want to fall into the water and disturb them. Last time I was here, I fell and dropped my phone in the water. And needless to say, I was not a very happy camper. So, I'm going to toss my snake tongs over there, put my backpack over here. I just saw two more newts that I almost completely missed. I looked down and just happened to see them right here. One of them went under here, the other one went over here. I want to see if I can catch one of these guys so you guys can see what they look like out of the water. I hope I can get one of them. tricky than I thought. I'll turn this thing back on as soon as I either catch him or just move on to the next area. Well I was finally able to capture one of these guys and you can see how beautiful these California newts are. Got a nice drab brown color on top and obviously a bright yellow underside right there. Now the interesting thing about these guys is that these amphibians here, these California newts, are considered to be the most poisonous amphibians in the United States. Their poison is so potent, it can kill anywhere from 1,200 to 2,500 mice. Can you believe that? They can kill that many mice. That is incredible. Now interestingly, the two-strike garter snake will actually eat these guys. They have a strong resistance to the newt's poisons and actually can make it their own, which is quite fascinating to think an animal of this size could kill 1,200 to 2,500 mice. That is insane. It's a shame I couldn't get the other one, but getting one of these guys is still very very nice I'm gonna take some quick photos of this guy and I'm gonna release him oh no I'm gonna release him right back into the water right where I found him 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release him right over in there. Gotta be really careful because these rocks are really slippery when wet. more I can see right here. There's two straight down right there, right where my finger's pointing, and then there's one right there. Another newt that just darted off straight that way into the reeds right there. I wish I could get a close up shot, but my right foot is stuck in the mud and it feels like I'm trying to pull out a quicksand. Now to just get this thing out of the mud. That's gonna be fun. <clears throat> That's always fun, trying to get your feet out of the mud that just sinks straight down to your freaking ankles. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> 